Hey everyone, welcome to the show. So social security benefits are going to rise next year by 8.7%. That's for more than 70 million social security beneficiaries. This is the biggest increase in benefits in about 40 years. And on average, the monthly checks will increase by $145. It's also being reported that the Biden administration has now reunited 500 immigrant children who were separated from their parents. This was during the the Trump administration. And they estimate that 700 additional children are still outstanding. They still haven't been reunited with their families. So the task force is still working on that. In other immigration news, though, the Department of Homeland Security, as well as the Immigration and Customs Enforcement Office, are being sued by immigrant rights organizations. This is for violating the Constitution, they say, by refusing to allow immigrants to speak with their attorneys. In economic news, the Department of Labor proposed a new rule. This would classify gig workers as employees if they're, quote, economically dependent on that specific job. So this new rule would reverse a Trump era policy, which allowed employers to deny benefits to workers at companies like Uber, DoorDash. And these are benefits that are, you know, basics like minimum wage, overtime pay, the right to unionize, things like that. In election news, the Supreme Court overturned an appeals court decision, which allowed undated mail-in ballots to be counted. So now in the state of Pennsylvania, if a ballot is completed properly, it's sent in, it's postmarked on time, but the voter forgets to write in the date, their vote will no longer count. All right, guys, thanks so much for the quickie. Take care and I'll talk with you soon.